Hey guys, it's Hops on today. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be carrying on my investing in the MLS Cup series kind of thing. And today, we're going to be going with silvers. Now, before I go in the video, I just want to quickly tell you guys why I'm talking about the MLS Cup. Because as you guys know, EA did release an MLS Cup a few weeks ago. And you guys may be wondering why the hell I'm doing this still. Well, last year, EA did, of course, release an a MLS Cup. And they also released another one near the team this season and i'm hoping they do the same this year now let's say there's not a tournament let's say there's no tournament but you buy your players now people are still going to anticipate that there is going to be a tournament youtubers will still anticipate it they'll still make videos about it that means the price of players will still go up and if there isn't a tournament and you buy the players now the prices you know will still be quite high and you can sell them on when you eventually realize if there isn't a tournament you can just sell your players on and you'll still make a good profit because the prices will be quite high. So even if it isn't a tournament, you can still make some profit. So I thought it was a good idea to show this to you guys. And if there is a tournament, then ka -ching. And of course, the market is absolutely rubbish at the moment. And the only real way to trade is probably by investing. So I've got a few players here. I've already done gold, so feel free to go check that out if you haven't already. And we'll be doing bronzes in the future. So let's get into this. Let's see who we got. So the strikers, we've got Finley. And also Matox. Matox? Matox. Okay, never mind. And the Giro, of course. Now, the reason I picked these three guys out is because they are super pacey. 90 pace, 90 pace, and 94 pace. And the prices will rise pretty high. I'd say Giro will probably go to about 3k. Matox, 3 to 2k. And also Finley, 3k, 2k. So around the kind of area. Maybe even a bit more. Counts how much hype this tournament gets, to be honest. So Finley. A Giro and also Matto. So one I recommend going for is a Giro. Because in my opinion, he's the clear-cut choice. He's a clear guy. People have heard of a Giro. He's had informed cards in FIFA 13. And I believe he's pretty well, well well known for being a very fast striker. So out of all of them, no real they can't really differentiate them too much. But just because the Giro has got a bit more pace, I say go for a Giro. However, he is like a little bit more expensive than Robbie Finley. So if you are on a lower budget, definitely go for Finley over Matox. And it's just really pace that's really kind of um, influencing my opinion, to be honest. So there's two centre backs. We've got Beesler and Olave. Ola Olav. Olav. Okay, never mind. Now, these two are super quick, as you know, got great stats on them. And you can see their prices are pretty high. Last year, Olave went to about 13k. So. There could be a chance this year for the same thing to happen. And I do think his price is, his price is starting to rise at the moment. Beastler is kind of a new guy onto the scene. He wasn't really that big last year. I never actually heard of him before. But he, going for, he goes for a cheaper amount. So what I would say, guys, if you do have a low, low coin amount, go for Beastler. But if you go for a Larve, because people have you know heard about him from last year, from last year's MLS Cup hype and stuff like that. People know who this guy is, and more people will probably be investing in Olave over Beastler just because he's more well, well known, in my opinion. So basically, there's more of a chance of this guy going up in price even higher than Beastler just because a lot more people know about him. So if I was you, I'd probably go for Olave over Beastler just for the fact that Olave is going to be probably more likely to use, and he also does have some better. Def Heading stats, defending's the same, and he's also got a little bit. No, he hasn't got the same amount of pace, and he's also a low rating down. But I do think a larvae will be more widely used. So for the centre backs, there's only a few. I believe you got you got Cleberson, and I believe you got another player who has got about 80 pace. And the reason I chose Cleberson is I think he's going to be pretty pretty much like used quite a bit because he's got some great all round all round, all round stats. 71 pace, 7 shooting, 77 passing, and he's he dribbling. 74 heading and 67 defending. They they are just some great all round all round stats, and the fact that he's Brazilian as well helps him out a lot. So I do think that this guy will probably go to about four or five k in my opinion, maybe a little bit less. You know, it's really hard to say. And I think the hype when the hype when I when do I think the hype will kick in? I probably say the hype will start to kick in in about a month's time. The team this season, I believe, is coming out on, out in May now. I don't know if that's totally 100% correct, but I have heard that it's coming out in May. So the prices may start to go up because, as you guys know, EA likes to release these kind of tournaments near to team this season. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys have got some tips. Feel free to leave if you have any questions below. Feel free to leave them in the comments below. Right, I totally said that wrong. But uh, yeah. Um, drop a like, subscribe to my heart star. I'll be bringing you guys the bronze version in a few days time and I'll see you guys in the next video yep, see you guys